Dear Freaks, if you ever wanted to make your own video game, um, here I have a very simple program that will help you doing so, and um, it is called the OHR RPG CE. Or, or no, it's um, not like that. People call it the OR in short. Well, it looks like this. Here we can edit everything. The graphics, for example. Select them. Walk about, for example. This is one special type of graphics for the characters on the map. Yeah, select one. On the right you have uh, the palette, which consists of 256 colors, which is more than enough. You will never need more. Yeah, and just pick a color like that, and you can draw right there. Make a, th a trihorn out of this guy, for example. That was easy. Next, let's have a look at a finished game. Yeah, this is a tile set, for example. When, what can you see here? Full screen view. Let's have a look. Basically, this is uh, how all the maps in the game look like. Uh, like a puzzle. And now you can puzzle them together uh, as uh, mountains, for example, here. Or uh, buildings. Here are some walls. Here's a door. Let's go and see how the maps are actually looking like. And uh, this is under the maps. Edit maps. And this is... Um, Town A, let's see how Town A looks like. Uh, tile map, yeah. Well, and here we have a town with buildings. Now, if I press enter, I can select the tile I want. Uh, for example, I would like to place some trees there, here, here, and here. And so you can build your own maps. Um, what's also important, the wall map for example, which you can see here, all these blocks mean that uh, you, are, you cannot pass through there. No? So we have to place uh, some walls. Because else it would be possible to walk through the tree, which is not what we want. As you can see, a, l a lot of things can be altered to your wishes. The other stuff has to be explored. If you're interested, you have to explore the engine with all its capabilities. Uh, maybe we uh, actually should have a look at it, what the capabilities are in the game itself. Therefore, we um, close the editor, which is called custom, by the way, custom.exe. And we then go to the game.exe, which is in the same folder, so in the in the OR folder, in the OHR RPGCE folder, ah, this name, uh, then you get a list of all your games you have put in the folder. And here we are with Catman with the title screen of the game, which is of course self made by, yeah, by the kid who probably had a good time doing this, who probably um, lived his dream there. As you can uh, probably notice, these uh, hand drawn paint graphics. Great, just great. So, we start the game and what happens? We are greeted with a cutscene which is uh, special for this game. It says hi. And uh, there we have a text box which is full of text as you can see. And it explains the game. We have to use a keyboard there to progress. And another character appeared, which is possible. Very simply, I can show you after that why. It's uh, very easy. It's very easy to do that. And um, and we are in the game actually. Uh, it's about moving around. Here we have a house. Let's go inside. And a shop owner uh, who we can talk to. What? What? Yeah. Uh, here's a crack in the in the floor. Pass through. Uh, escape opens the menu. Items we have none. Everything is here. What you need in a proper computer game. Spells, special moves. Our friend Catnip has something. A cut is it called? Uh, Catman has none, as we can see. Exit then. 
status uh, full of stats which um, yeah like you know from Pokemon maybe or other role-playing games with attack defense currency da -di da speed and so on mana health points So, uh, here, go back. A text box was triggered. Well, let's see where this leads, for example. Um, you don't belong here. It's getting darker. The tiles are getting darker on the map. Stay away. Huh. Uh, who is that? Let's see. And um, here we are in our first fight. This is how the fights look like, uh, or could look like. A very basic fight here. We have no weapon, therefore it's called unarmed, our attack. If we can barely hit this thing, so we have to use a skill, Egg Cut. And there it comes, the lizard. Yeah. Yeah, and after we win, it's um, some experience to us, and great. Loot, everything is included in there. Good. Now enough of that. Uh, let's go back to the editor and see where we find all that that we have seen there in the game actually. So going back, um, loading Catman. For example, let's have a look at edit enemies because we had the fight with the lizard. There it is. It's the first enemy. Um, we can edit the appearance for example uh, picture and palette yeah change the color we can change the rewards what we get uh, when we defeat the lizard um, here it's uh, three money and 12 experience points and this item with uh, 80 percent possibility a cure so uh, a healing potion and so on and so on. Um, the stats I think are also quite interesting here because just have a look at what you can set here. Uh, the health points, the mana points, uh, how strong the enemy is, um, how precise, yeah, because attacks can miss if the accuracy, um, no, the accuracy is too low, uh, then uh, the attacks just fail plenty of stuff that you can set here much more attacks now nah, it's okay what else can we have a look at the battle formations for example yeah this is uh, th this is where we where we did the fight just a minute ago and we can place as many enemies as we want yes reposition enemy and um, you can see this is uh, this could be the battle against five lizards against six lizards or seven yeah just easy to set this up not difficult of course we have music too um, the music here is some uh, it's <laughs> It's beautiful, uh, but it's um, it's old. Uh, this is an old game, actually. Uh, it's um, the music from it is Adlib, which is uh, very old, which is very very old. Uh, you can also use normal OGG and MP3 music, and yeah. Oh. Uh, now there's one thing I would like to show you, which is um, actually there is a possibility to script things together but it's simple it's an easy programming language that the engine that the ore uses and mm, well let's have a look at um, the the intro you remember the intro what happened uh, there was uh, our uh, our hero catman walking from left to the middle of the screen uh, and saying hi and that was for example scripted you saw the the game did this uh, this scene automatically and if I show you the script now we have it here the script is um, just uh, just some commands 
in a, in a text file. Yeah, it first has to say include uh, plotscr.hsd simple. This this means that we can use plot scripting. Um, then define script begin. Um, uh, th then come um, the numbers of the scripts. Then comes the name of the script. Uh, yeah, Walkin was the script from the intro. Um, let's see what it does. It just says script. So here comes the script. Walkin, the name and begin and so the script starts. Uh, suspend player. That means that the the player itself, uh, him, uh, him or herself, uh, can't um, can't use the keyboard to move the the characters on screen uh, for a specific time because when you have a cutscene you don't want that uh, the player presses some buttons and then the characters walk away from the scene uh, not while the scene is uh, taking place well it depends on what you want but in this case it was the intro uh, I was not uh, allowed to interrupt that like walking away from it well next uh, it says walk hero um, well, what do you th what do you think what that command does? Walk hero, walk hero, uh, the hero that is um, the player uh, himself, or the character the player actually plays. Uh, well, uh, controls, I mean, and uh, it's um, here in the brackets we have uh, the words me comma right comma eight well um, what might that do actually walk hero me right and eight well guess what it's um, the player who walks uh, eight steps to the right you could say eight tiles wait for hero comes then which means uh, it waits until the character stops then the game waits um, then the game waits 20 uh, not seconds uh, it's ticks it's a uh, short it's uh, maybe two seconds then the game waits a little bit and if we have a look at the intro again and uh, here we have a replay of that you see what it did it um, it was a short pause after uh, after the cat had finished moving and next up is set hero direction uh, in brackets then me down so what what might that do then set hero direction it uh, sets the direction where the character uh, faces to what you say it should do and then it faces down because there it says down right good then wait five just a little wait there and then create NPC now this is complicated what is an NPC this is an another character that might um, be placed on the screen then uh, in brackets three eight seven up now what this means is um, we have to look to the map first to see what this actually means um, the map was called intro and let's have a look at what the NPCs are and there is an NPC 3 for example um, which looks like a suspicious text bubble good and this is why uh, it says create NPC 3 because it's NPC 3 on this specific map so the speech bubble is NPC 3 um, then 8 and 7 and now um, you have to remember a little bit school time because at school you have uh, probably learned what a coordinate system is uh, with uh, X and Y and um, yeah you can uh, now see that again here uh, did tile map yeah uh, we don't see much because remember the screen was black at the intro and uh, here we have the hero where he starts obviously and at at the position 8 and 7 at the coordinates x8 and y7 uh, there um, should the, the the speech bubble appear uh, which would be right here and the character walks to the right like eight steps we had that in the script and then the speech bubble appears right above him makes sense uh, doesn't it yeah the speech bubble actually was removed uh, after some seconds right so this has to be told uh, the uh, the script too it waits a little bit then it d deletes NPC 
which NPC should be deleted. Of course, number three, because it was the speech bubble on the map. Of it goes, then there's another wait, then a resume player command, which means that the player can actually uh, uses the keyboard again to, um, uh, for example, to move uh, to move around once again. And it also says a show text box where text uh, was placed inside and we can have a look at the text boxes too which are uh, under edit text boxes here which is everything uh, every dialogues all the characters say in the game all the dialogues are here we can change um, box appearance uh, like the position uh, that can be all placed somewhere else on the screen text color box color everything a lot can be changed here and here we have these dialogues too uh, like go back and you don't uh, belong here we've just seen them in the game and uh, now uh, going back to the script um, well the script you don't need to use the script uh, to make your own game but the scripting language is uh, is easy to understand and it, it doesn't use these terrible uh, syntax, um, it doesn't use terrible comma floods and brackets all over the place and it gets so confusing and inhuman that um, a normal person cannot understand a thing about this and this is why I think uh, yeah, the programming languages of the the OR is something easy to learn Well, if we would have um, written our own script, then uh, we could just uh, go to script management, yeah. Then um, compile this thing. Good. We have to select it where it is. Feed it your plot scripts, your scripts. It says imported Walkin. That was the intro. It was called Walkin. There are some other scripts too. Three scripts. Good. We could have a look where the intro script is actually used, which is under um, Edit General Game Settings at the main menu. Then um, scroll down to Scripts, Special Plot Scripts. And here we have our intro script that was called Walkin, as you remember, for a new game script, which means that the intro script runs once when a new game is started. Also, game over script would be possible when the game ends, for example. A lot of possibilities to explore. Maybe some final thoughts about the engine, because I think I've shown you now um, plenty of things. This game, for example, was made by probably a seven or um, eight or nine year old kid, uh, really some time ago, but. Uh, it, it was made by a kid who had uh, something in his mind and wanted to make a story and uh, the engine helped uh, him definitely there because uh, as I said it was easy to use look at the graphics they are they are so simple just did it the kid had a dream and it just did it and I think this is quite awesome maybe you have a dream too like uh, doing something like that just do it. <laughs>